Now, South Korean First Lady Kim Jong-suk is continuing her tour of India. On Tuesday, she attended a groundbreaking ceremony to build a commemorative park for an Indian princess who later became the queen of an ancient Korean dynasty. Our Blue House correspondent, Hwang Ho-joon, with the details. Her message calling for a stronger bilateral friendship could not happen clear. I pray the long friendship between us will take on a new dimension. Let's also pray for good relations and joint prosperity. She also emphasized India and South Korea are close friends and partners in creating a future of peace and prosperity on the peninsula and in the region. First Lady Kim's comments came on Tuesday during a congratulatory speech at the Diwali festival, a Hindu festival of lights and the largest event in India. Noting that Diwali celebrates the victory of light over darkness, Kim also referred to the so-called candlelight revolution that led to the impeachment of former President Park Geun-hye and paved the way for the Moon administration to settle in. She noted how the incident is now illustrated in the textbooks of schools in India. Earlier in the day, the First Lady attended the groundbreaking ceremony for an upgrade to the memorial park for Queen Ho Hwang Ok, the Indian wife of the founding ruler of Korea's ancient Kaya Kingdom, King Kim Suro. South Korea's culture minister was also there along with the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath. The event was part of the agreement made between First Lady Kim and Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to promote people-to-people -people exchanges between Seoul and New Delhi. Hong Jun, Arirang News.